This effect took me a lot of days to make, but you can make the same in just a few minutes. This will involve three major steps. Let's start with the first one, which is making this object in Blender. I found an elegant and easy way. So first, we will add a plane, then head to the Geo Node Editor by dividing the panel right here. Now we are gonna use a cube, which we can later at any point change its size to get a desired result. So let's get rid of this original plane, then add a cube right here. Now what we have to make sure is, once we go into the wireframe mode, the topology of this cube should match the background grid as visible so for example i'm gonna make this like a 20 meter long to look like a band then giving it a width of 1.8 meter and a depth of 0.2 meter now this step is very crucial as doing it wrong will give a bad result so what we really want to do right now is match the subdivision on this mesh with the grid in the background so for the x direction let's try increasing and at a certain point, it will match with the grid, which is at 201. Now for the Y, I will increase it as well. And at 19, it matches with the grid. Let's switch the view direction and the Z value will be perfect at three value. Now the next step is to make these squares diagonal, not straight. There's a one simple trick by using a decimate modifier, changing the mode to unsubdivide. Now, if we just increase the iteration to one and we will have our result. Next, we have to make those braids appear. That is also gonna be really simple. One clip blowjob. First, we go to edit, then to preferences, and then to get extension. If you are opening this for the first time, you might see a pop up for giving it a online access. You should give it. Then you can search for all the add-ons available from Blender. Now just search for tissue and then just install it. By default, it's already installed for me. After installing, we have to make a simple mesh, which should look like this at the end. So how do we make it? That is also simple. Just take a plane and then make sure it's snapped to the grid properly. Then go to the edit mode, add some edge loop and it should match the grid again on the both directions. Now I'm going to just delete these side faces right here and the faces in between as well. To dissolve these faces, I will press X and click on limited dissolve and same repeat for the right one as well. Also, let's just add a edge loop right here to edge loop like this. Now what we simply have to do is select diagonal edges like this and move them up and same do that for the opposite but move them down. Now just select these edges and these edges press ctrl i to select the inverse and we will just get rid of all these click on edges and we only have this. The last thing you have to do is shift duplicate it or rotate on the z axis by a 90 degree and we get this result. Now you can just go out of edit mode and apply a scale on it. Now we finally can do that magic. So first select these wires and then select our band. Then press N and head to the tissue tab and click on tessellate. Make sure to check this merge button before clicking on OK. And after clicking it, you will get this kind of result. Let's hide the original mess and see our really, really nice result. We did all this bullshit so that we can animate them as curve in our second step. Now we can add a really nice effect on them by again adding geo node like this. Now you must be thinking if we add a mesh to curve, convert them into curves and then use a trim curve to animate them, but you got it all wrong. I will explain the reason later. So to fix this, first we will have to get rid of these vertices so that we can make them straight one line. Make sure first you disable the geometry node in the modifiers and also make sure you are doing everything in the wireframe mode so that you can properly select everything. As of right now, we cannot properly trim them as they are a cyclic curve. Then we will assign start point by selecting these points right here and create a vertex group with them right here. Also create a seam for the endpoint as well. Now inside the geo node, we can access all these points by using a named attribute. Then just select the start for the one name attribute and the end one for another named attribute. If you can't select the start or end, you must have forgotten to enable the geometry modifier. Then get rid of this mesh to curve. Now to set a perfect path, we will use a edge path to curves. Then connect start to the start vertices, really simple. And then 
where do we connect the N1? We don't get the N1 option. For that, we will use a shortest edge path node. Here we get the option to connect the N vertices and lastly connect the next vertices back into the next vertices. And now if we trim, we get the desired result, which is really perfect. Now let's convert them to mesh so that we can see how they look using a curve to mesh and use a curve circle as a profile. But before connecting it, set its resolution to something low like 7 or 10 and the radius should be 0.03. It all depends upon your result. And we get this nice result. Also check fill gaps. This doesn't look like it's waving. So what I first want is to make these moving threads narrow and sharp. For that use a set curve radius and then connect the spline parameter factor. Nice, we can fine tune it even further with a color ramp just like this. Changing the position and the intensity with the color. Now we can make it even better using a set position. Then connecting the noise texture to the offset. First we only want to affect these ends. So again use a spline parameter with a color ramp. Connect both noise and the factor with a multiply vector math node to get this result. Then this should be stretching forwards only in the x direction. So duplicate this multiply, put it ahead and to make it work only in the x direction, you just have to set the value for the x only like this and it works. Also what else we can do is set the noise texture to 40 and in the w value type hashtag frame divided by 124. While this is happening, if we trim our curve as well, it will look really really good now but we have one issue that will be solved with this beautiful result so you can see our effects of noise and it is very small at the start and very long at the end to fix this we will disable the geo node for now then select the vertices in the wireframe mode and then divide the panel to have one side view and one bottom view then we just extrude them and press alt shift s to make them circular like this and place them properly repeat the step but now we will rotate them as well with this one by one till we get this result. But after we turn on the geo node, we will have an issue. This is because if we select the end vertices, we get this result due to extruded vertices. To fix this, we will just have to reassign the vertices here in the vertex group and we will get back our nice result. Also to smooth it more, you can use a subdiv node just at the start and you are good to go. Now we just have to apply a really nice texture to it using a set material. For the material, I am gonna search material on this free add-on called Blender Kit. Link is in the description. So in the material, search for Wove one and then select this one. Now apply the same in the set material. Right now it's not gonna work. For that, let's head to the shader editor and first disconnect this displacement as it will make it really heavy. Second, click on this icon to go inside this node. And here we just have to do is go to the start and change the texture coordinate to generate it. Then give it some time to load and boom, we get this freaking amazing result. Also, if you guys want the full blend file for the whole animation, grab it for free on my Gumroad page. Link is in the description. Now go and get started with animating your own lovely thread weaving effects in Blender. And lastly, if you have any doubts, do drop them in the comment section. And if this video was really helpful in any way, do give a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one.